Yes, many thanks for your time, Sayyid Jalal, an amazing recitation once again. Um, inshallah, we look forward to hearing more from you in the coming episodes. Um, now we're at the part of the show where me and Zara speak to uh, our esteemed guest, Ibrahim Al-Ansari, where we kind of shed light on some of the supplications, the du'as, the ziyaras within the school of the Ahlul Bayt that perhaps you didn't know much about. Um, and also, to even for those that, that you do know about, we may give some points that perhaps gives you some thought-provoking ideas um, as to those du'as or the supplications or the ziyaras. Um, so as I mentioned, Ibrahim is joining us today. Assalamu alaikum, Ibrahim. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. How are you guys doing? Alhamdulillah, all good. I wanted to ask uh, this time before you. I want to ask how you were doing. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah we're doing, I'm doing <laughs> yeah. well. Is you, 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 okay? you guys are getting the blessings of saying salam first, which is uh, kind of annoying me <laughs> oh, right now. Okay, You're okay. getting the 69 hasanat and I'm only getting May one. May Allah so. give them to you. So, <laughs> so okay, in, 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 in the next episodes that you're in, I'll yeah. just say we're here with Ibrahim Ansari. I'll say salam alaikum. And then alaykum. you can say salam alaikum. Yeah, then we, yeah? Can, we can share the hasanat. All right, cool. Brilliant. <laughs> Perfect. Brilliant. Uh, but yeah, to answer your question, I'm doing well. Sorry. Yes, I'm well, thank you. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Um, so, just for the benefit of the viewers, we're, we are, of course, celebrating the birth of Ali al-Azghar, um, the son or the young infant son of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Tragically, we know of his life um, in the, uh, the, the story of Karbala and, and the martyrdom of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. However, uh, we're going to be focusing more on, on some of the positive aspects of Ziyat Ashura in today's episode. Inshallah, definitely. Um, so, tell us, in terms of um, the Ziyara, there are, there are obviously a lot of ziyaras tailored towards the sons yeah. or the children of Imam Hussein alayhi yeah. um, And it being the birth of Ayl Azghar, how, how does it work within, within our plethora of ziyaras? How does it work when it comes to ziyara for the sons of Imam Hussein? So usually um, with ziyaras for um, the sons of Imam Hussein, for uh, the sons of Imams, they always tend to be, um, they always tend to be a short ziyara in their name or whatever. Whereas with Ali al Azghar, with the rest of the sons of, of Imam Hussein, um, with those who were martyred alongside Imam Hussein, in fact, this ziyara, ziyarat Ashura, it includes everyone. Mm. Mm. So it's, it's a beautiful way of sending your salams, it's a beautiful way in remember, remembering them through ziyarat Ashura. And in fact, uh, for Ali al Azghar, for example, there isn't, there isn't really a specific ziyara that mentions Ali al Azhar. Not one that I have come across. Um, and as we know, he is buried on the chest of Imam Hussein, Ali al Salatu Wasalam. So I find it a beautiful way to do ziyara for both of them. Mm. Um, mm. While you're at it, as they say. Um, because this great infant, yes, he was only six, month, six months old on the day of Ashura. However, he did have a great stance. He did cause a throne to shake. Mm. He did cause his name to be remembered till the day that we are, we are here today. Mm. Mm. So you, you mentioned a quite an interesting point in terms of the sons of Imams and the sons of Imam Hussein. Is there a difference in terms of, like, because I know there was a ziyara for, actually, is there a ziyara for the sons of Imams? So for specific example, you've ziyaras, got... Not, not Ayl Azghar, but is there a specific ziyara for, yeah. for the sons? So, so you've, got, you've got ziyaras for some of the sons of Imams, especially... Uh, some of the sons of Imam Musa ibn Ja'far mm. um, Forgive me, I can't remember the exact names Some of the sons of Imam Sadiq uh, There are specific ziyaras However, these ziyaras You don't usually tend to find them in, in our main books mm. They tend to be um, here and there mm. In weaker books But once again They have this, this thing about them Where even though you can recite them they don't really have any negative impacts anyway, so there okay. isn't really something. Mm. Because usually, Assalamu alaik, whatever his name is, yeah. wa ala ajdadik, wa ala abaik, and yeah. there's, not, there's no harm to it. Mm. Actually, Zara, when yeah. we go to Karbala, mm. um, and, and we go and visit the different maqams mm. outside the shrines, there is a special maqam for yeah. Ayl Azhar, right? Yeah. Is there, I, I probably the one haven't where noticed, the is, yeah? where the cot mm. is, is there a specific like a, a plaque where it says a, sp a certain ziyara? Do you, do you remember? No, I can't Or for remember. example, Ayl Akbar has a special maqam as well. He does, but I think he has a ziyara. Yeah, Ayl Akbar has a specific yeah. ziyara. Ayl Akbar has a specific yeah. ziyara. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I don't, uh, you're right, I've never recalled one for... Um, yeah. Not one that I've come across. Mm. No. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. But it's quite emotional, isn't it, when you go... Well, when you're in Karbala, you know, you do the tours and to yeah. see where the actual 
um, you know, physical battle took place. Yeah. And it's, it, I think this Magam is particularly, yeah. um, you know, and I, and I guess a lot of parents or people who wish to have children go there make a lot of hajjat. And, um, That's why I was always wondering, if because mm. usually with every, like even Abbas alayhi salam's, right arm and right mm. uh, and left arm there is a special kind of ziyara yeah. that that is tailor made not generic as you mentioned yeah, yeah. so for example there's other generic ziyaras like yeah. assalam to you and your grandfathers but no this is like tailor made ziyaras like even mentions your right arm and bless your right arm mm -hmm. and for what you what you stood up for yeah. so i'm i'm very keen to know maybe you know if one of the viewers can email in yeah. um, yes, to, to 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 let us know that actually when it comes to the maqam of ali al azhar um, is there a special ziyarah? There could be yeah. something interesting to find We'd out. Love yes, to know, yeah, yeah. Um, but moving on, I guess you mentioned that there's there's a special ziyarah for the sons of Imam al Sadiq, for example, and Imam. Yeah, usually in the in the maqamat you'll find, for example, some sort of sort of short ziyarah. Oh, but they're the generic ones. They're generic oh, ones. Right, okay, they're, okay. They, they'll mention the name, and then the rest is everything. The so same. I was going to say the difference between the rest of the imams and and their sons, for example, the yeah. generics. Is there a difference between that and the one for Imam uh, for not Imam for Ali Akbar alayhi yes, salam? because so Ali Akbar was a specific yeah, one to him. Why? Because Ali Al Akbar, when you look at his ziyarah. Um, first of all, the Ma'asum is showing his great status. Mm. He is showing how he took the great stance of standing beside his father. Assalamu alaikum ayyuha al-Mazlum wa ibn al-Mazlum. Assalamu alaikum ayyuha al-Shaheed wa ibn al-Shaheed. And the word Shaheed, yes, it, it, it is called, yes, yes, it translates to martyr. But the status of a Shaheed in Islam mm. is not little. Mm. To the extent where Imam Sahib al-Zaman, when he comes, um, when, when he reappears, inshallah, may Allah hasten his reappearance. Those who had taqwa, those who had amazing piety, those who had amazing iman, and died a normal death, in some narrations we have that the imam will take them out of their graves, raj'ah, take them mm -hmm. out of their graves, and they will fight beside the imam, and they will attain shahada, mm -hmm. to lift their status even higher. Wow. So this is the, the, the status of of a shaheed. And in, in, in the ziyar of Al Akbar, it mentions that he has gained that status of a shaheed. Mm. So, in terms of a ziyar for Ayl Azhar, there is nothing specific. However, he mentioned within Ziyarat Ashura there could be something that alludes to him. So, Ziyarat Ashura, uh, it mentions all of the Ashab of Imam Hussein. Okay. It mentions um, the sons of Imam Hussein. So, for example, in one part of Ziyarat Ashura, it says, uh, assalamu alaikum uh, alaikum yeah so in terms of the ziyarah itself you mentioned that there's nothing specific for al azghar however no. you know assalamu ala hussein wa ala ali ibn al hussein i'm pretty sure that the scholars differ when it comes to which ali ibn al hussein because then after that it says Awlad al Hussein. So mm -hmm. I'm assuming that Awlad could be obviously feminine and masculine. So we're talking about the children of Hussein. So uh, maybe Sakina, Urqayya, and so on and so forth. Maybe Al Azhar is part of that Awlad. But in terms of the Ali ibn al Hussein, are we referring to Imam al Sajjad or are we referring to Ali al Akbar? Well, you said there's, there's, there's a difference of opinion. Mm. Although that the, the Mashhur, let's say the most famous opinion, yeah. would go to Imam al Sajjad alayhi wa sallatu wa salam. But of course, at the end of the day, with Awlad al Hussein, they're all mentioned. So even whoever the Ali ibn al Hussein is at the start mm. is also mentioned in Awlad al Hussein. Other mm. scholars say no. To show the greatest status of Ali al Akbar, the son of Imam Hussein, he was mentioned separately mm. as Asana. as Ali ibn al Hussein. Mm. So he's, he, this is this is where the difference lies. And usually, I don't like to get into these kinds of discussions. Yeah. Yeah. So some say no because. Ali ibn al Hussein, Imam al Sajjad, is an Imam. He was mentioned alone, and the rest were martyred in Karbala. They were mentioned as Awlad al Hussein. Yeah. Mm. Whereas others say, and, and both arguments make sense to be honest yeah. with you. Whereas the others say, Ali al Akbar, to show his greater status, because he had the greater status from the sons of Imam Hussein on the day of Karbala, uh, of those who, who were martyred. Yeah, of course, yeah. Imam Sajjad's status is, is yeah. higher, with no doubt. Mm. Yeah. However, to show and to show his great status, he was mentioned there. So he was mentioned twice in Ali ibn al Hussein and in Awlad al Hussein. So to, could, to show the, his could the context be that when that part of the 
زيارة مانشن السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين could the context of that be شهادة so those who are martyred in Karbala were mentioned or are specifically mentioned in these four lines or is it whoever took part in Karbala it's the 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 ra'i the opinion goes to whoever whoever was involved within this because because in the in when we look at context we want to look at what is before yeah. and what is after yeah. and none of it does it mention those who were martyred okay so it Makes sense. if if it mentions those who were martyred then yes of course we can say only those who attain shahada yeah. but uh, in most at least just so that I make sure that I'm not giving a false information, at least 99% of the places where it is mentioned, it doesn't mention those who were martyred, yeah. and then as alaykum Okay, okay, that makes sense. What yeah. if someone's reciting that and is, you know, like myself, and they're not um, literate with Arabic, and they think, okay, um, Ali ibn al Hussein, they, they think it's this little Ali, you know, or they think it's the middle Ali, or they think it's Imam Sajjaz, you know, you, mm. you, how how would they know? So is it just, I mean, like we say, most of us have grown up thinking it's Imam Sajjad, but yeah. I mean, actually, to be honest, it's the first time I've heard that anybody thought it was um, Ali al Akbar. Ali al -Akbar. Yeah. So yeah, it's interesting to, uh, in perspective, I, I'm, I'm just wondering, that's, you know, because Ali's, it's like they named all their sons Ali, yeah. didn't they? And, and all the daughters. If I had a thousand sons, I would call them yeah. all Ali. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, shall we listen to the recitation? Yeah, I was going to say, you're, you're focusing on the the last last part of the Ziyad yeah. Ashura. Uh, I feel like the last part, um, other than the, the fact that it includes a sujood, uh, and that is the closest uh, position you mm -hmm. can get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, other than that, it also includes many lessons, and it mentions all of those who we just mentioned as well. Ah, right. So it's, I feel like as if it is a concise lesson and a concise um, Prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the closest position you can get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fair enough. So in it he says, <coughs> Allahumma laka alhamdu hamda shakirin laka ala musabihim alhamdulillahi ala azim raziyati Allahumma arzuqni shafa'at al-Husayn yawm al-wurud wa thabbit li qadam sidqin indaka ma'a al-Husayn wa ashab al-Husayn الذين بذلوا مهجهم دون الحسين عليه السلام اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد Of course, this specific part, not this, this specific ziyara is narrated um, from our Imam, Imam al-Baqir عليه الصلاة والسلام where he starts off by praising Allah سبحانه وتعالى لعظيم رزيته mm. for the great tragedy mm. that has befell upon him and of course the tragedy that has befell upon us as well. Yeah. And we must praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a lesson. Praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every state that you are in. Alhamdulillah ala musabihim. The praise of those who always thank you. Mm. In, 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 even, in, even in heaven, for example, we have different uh, groups, stages, whatever you may call it. Mm. Al-Shakirin, Al-Musalleen, al al, 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 al these, these are all um, different statuses that people can reach to. One of them is those who are Shakirin, thankful towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is status. And the Imam is teaching us to, to uh, talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We, pr we thank you the way that the Shakirin do. The way, so of the highest level of thankfulness, we want to thank you of this great tragedy that has befallen upon us. SubhanAllah. Makes sense. Um, it's amazing. I'm just thinking about um, somebody I know who's going through a very difficult um, time at the moment. Um, their child is missing. But, and it's, someone said, well, why does this happen to good people? And mm. you think, SubhanAllah, you know, to actually in the depth of your tribulations to turn around and say, I must thank Allah. Not must because it's incumbent or it's, you know, um, not only because it's in, but only because it's, a ble you know, to th it's really a blessing to be able to open your eyes and heart to think that how God has blessed you with that trial because through that trial, your faith will grow and so much patience. Wow. There's so much you go through, isn't Other there? Other than the fact that the, uh, the, uh, in the afterlife, you will be gained reward for this. Yeah. So, for example, we have a narration from uh, Imam Al Hadi, alayhi wa sallam. Um, he says that this world was created a world of 
um, Bala. Yeah. And the next world was created a world of Thawab. And the Thawab of the next world was created for the Bala of this world. And the Bala of this world was created for the Thawab of the yeah. next world. Yeah, world. So therefore, if we don't have Bala in this world, it's, it's yeah. as if, if you don't go through specific tribulations, we can't just be thinking, no. oh, yeah, Allah is going to allow me to get into heaven, yeah, etc. It is this patience. It is thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is following the first steps of Sayyidah Zainab when she said, Ma ra'aytu illa jamila. Mm. This is piety towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I saw nothing but beauty. I saw uh, this is piety towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is always thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing you to be in the position you are yeah. in. Yeah. And you know what, you, you, you mentioned something in terms of you know why does this happen to good people. I think mm -hmm. if we relate it back to our school of thought, um, we can never ever ask that question no. because if this, you know, if we use the term good people and the Ahlul Bayt are the best yeah. of the best. Yeah. So if, if they are good people mm. and, and tribulations such as this happens to them, then who are we to complain for any any Definitely. minor, major tribulation that happens to us. I mean, if it, you know, we can't ask the question of why does this happen to good yeah. people when the good people are the Ahlul Bayt, how comes it happens to them Definitely. on a regular, regular basis? But they can never have had the highest exactly. amount of tragedies. Otherwise, Fatima to Zahra, when she stands by the grave of her father mm. and she says, oh, father, calamities have befallen upon me. me. If these calamities were to, to fall upon days, they would have turned into nights. Yeah. And calamities isn't just a normal tribulation. Yeah. The word calamity is death or what is close to death. Mm. Yeah. Because, because once we have a, a normal tribulation, I failed an exam. Mm. Once a, a, a normal thing happens, um, I, I, lose, I, I lose a friend and it affects me heavily. Anything can happen. Whereas a calamity is death or what is close to death. And she said this before when, before she died. Yeah. Meaning how great were the tragedies that Fatima to Zahra went through. Mm. And she was the best of people. It's a deception of this world, isn't it? That, yeah. you know, it should be easy, but it's not. So I think that's a beautiful point to end on. Um, I think we have come to the end. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, we bless, you. pray for your blessing for today. Shall request to you and your families, inshallah. Thank you so much. Um, so your recap? Yeah, no, no, no. I don't think there's much time to do the recap. Um, <laughs> do a quick one. But from, from, from what you were saying in terms of the, the ziyara for the sons of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, um, there, there is a specific ziyara for Ayl Akbar. However, when it comes to the ziyara compared to the rest of the Imams, they are kind of just generic, you know, peace be upon so and so, the grandfather of so or the grandson of, of so and so. So it's yeah. just very, very generic. You can insert any name here and it'll still apply. Yeah. Um, and, and I think what, what was interesting is, is the discussion around um, Ziyad Ashura itself um, and the particular area that you focused on and, and, and you know, thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for any calamity or tribulation or trial. Uh, it even says it here, you know, to you belong the praise, the praise of those who are thankful to you for their tribulations. All praise belongs to Allah for my intense grief. Um, I think that's something that we, we should also consider yeah. for the viewers as well. By the way, just, just a, a quick word to the viewers. If you have any information in regards to the... Uh, within Ziyat Ashura, we discussed at length in terms of Assalamu ala Hussein wa ala Ali ibn Hussein wa ala Aulad al Hussein wa ala Ashab Hussein. If you guys have any information, any knowledge, any text, any. Well, what uh, you feel like, you know, you, how, how you've been reciting yeah. it. Yeah. Um, you yeah, can what, email what us. What comes to mind? Yeah, what comes yeah. to your yeah. mind? Um, yeah. Drop a comment in, on the social media page or email us into Morning Baraka. Um, we'll be happy to hear from you. Yeah. Yeah. In any case, Zara is going to be with Barak, uh, Barak Hussein after the break on the special segments. So don't go anywhere unless you are getting a cup of tea. tea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>